Hello friends, God bless you and I wanted to share something from Gospel of John chapter 11 where Jesus rose uh, Lazarus from dead and this is so significant uh, miracle and there is something special about this miracle. This is a out of 37 miracles just uh, Jesus did on earth, this is the 33rd miracle. And not only that, during this miracle, there is very profound thing is written, Jesus cried. Until now, my understanding was Jesus was loving Lazarus, loving Martha and Maryam, and that's why he cried. And which is true, but if that is the only reason Jesus cried, then I'm missing something. Because if you look, there are other inst instances. Jairus' daughter, when she when she died, Jesus, it is not written, Jesus cried. When Jesus rose, the young dead man of widow at Naim, Jesus, it is not written, Jesus cried. What is so significant here that Jesus cried? Is it just because he loved Lazarus and Martha and Maria, or there is something more? As I mentioned that also th that Jesus not only cried, but he why he rose, uh, why he raised Lazarus from dead. What is the reason? All other miracles are described in few verses, but the resurrection of Lazarus, the f nearly 45 verses are dedicated for this miracle. Why there is so much detail given in this one miracle? And furthermore, if you look down after chapter 11, you come to chapter 17 where Jesus is, is uh, about to go to die and, and, and finish his work on this earth. That time Jesus is praying one prayer in, in John 17 about his disciples and later on it says, scripture says that Jesus, that prayer was for you and me. Jesus said that, Father, my disciples are not from this uh, earth as I'm not from this earth. Well, disciples didn't knew that, but Jesus proclaimed that my disciples are not from this earth. And second thing he said, I'm not asking you to take away from this earth, from this world. They will be on this world. And Jesus could have prayed, Lord, Father, please protect my disciples. Please keep them healthy. Please provide whatever they need. He could have prayed. He might have prayed. But scripture records that what he prayed. Jesus prayed that, Father, as you are in me and I am in you, I wish they are also in us. Why Jesus has to pray that prayer that I pray that as you are in me and I'm in you, so they are, they can be in us. Because there is something happened at resurrection of Lazarus. Jesus decided that he needs to pray this prayer in John 17. What happened? When, when Martha and Miriam sent a messenger to Jesus that, Lazarus has died, the, the one whom you loved. And Jesus said that it is good that I am not there. He is telling his disciples, oh, uh, 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 I gave glory to God that I am not there. Why? What is good that Jesus is not there? Because when you read further down, John chapter 11, Jesus asked Martha open-ended question. Do you believe? Now, Jesus could have asked so many things. Do you believe that I am resurrection life? Do you believe that I can raise Lazarus from dead? He did not question that way. He asked open-ended question. Do you believe? And what is Martha's answer? Martha says that I believe you are son of God. You are Messiah. That is the answer Jesus was looking. And then if you further read down, 
the other people who were present they said very profound thing they says that this man has opened the eyes of blind could he have not stopped the death of lazarus what they are saying yes jesus has opened eyes of blind people but he has no power of death he has no power over death he cannot raise people that is the question they raised could he has not stopped lazarus from dying now he is dead and all game is over and immediately following that verse scripture says that jesus groan with sadness why jesus groan with sadness because they didn't know who jesus is that is the reason jesus was crying and jesus was sad that these people are walking with me they have seen all the miracles this was the 33rd miracles out of 37 and still they don't know me and when jesus raised lazarus the way he raised is very profound he said father i give you thanks and because they believe that you send me in another words i am son of god i have power over death i am the lord of death and destruction and everything is under my control i am god i am sent on a mission jesus said that father so that they believed he called Lazarus come out that was the reason the one reason you can ask why Jesus raised Lazarus it is he wanted to prove that he has power over everything he is god and second thing he cried and became sad because even after so much time he spent with them they didn't know who he is My friends Jesus has prayed for you and me that me and we all can be in Jesus as father is in Jesus we are we can be joined together yes there are so many noble things preaching gospel teaching healing people praying for healing forgiving people helping poor all are very noble act but out of all these acts one thing is most important for which jesus has prayed is that you and me are one in god that's why he came that's why he died that's why he cried that's why he prayed i hope that you will take this invitation and know that you are special and God loves you thank you